If you're looking for a rockin' good time on Broadway, we're talking booze and babes. It's Rock of Ages. Headbangers, glitter, strippers, Rock of Ages is not your average Broadway musical. Sure, wannabe rock star boy meets wannabe actress girl, and complications ensue in their rock and roll romance. But star Constantine Morales, that was just in toilet water, dude. Who received a Tony nomination for his leading role and Asardi's character explains. Rock of Ages is so unique, you know, the amazing songs from a great era of rock and roll. It's an experience, it's more than just a play or a musical, it's a, an event. And people come and they have drinks and, and they go home singing the songs and tell all their friends and they come back over and over again. Like faux lighters and waitress beer service throughout the show, Rock of Ages is an 80s love fest where quirky characters take your favorite 80s classics and reinvent them. It's a metal musical that's as fun a show as it is a night out. Rock of Ages is at 256 West 47th Street, near Times Square. The San Francisco Ballet is on top of its game in more ways than one. It's the country's oldest ballet company, one of the largest, and has premiered world-famous ballets like The Nutcracker and Swan Lake to American audiences. From classical Thomason to neoclassical Balanchine, the SFB is one of the brightest stars in the galaxy of world ballet. The SFB performs at the War Memorial Opera House, 301 Van Ness Avenue in San Francisco. It is said that those who cannot learn from history are doomed to repeat it. It's the lesson that the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in Washington, D.C. teaches to generation after generation. Located on the National Mall, the museum contains the memories of those who survived the Holocaust and what remains behind of those who did not. Not to be missed, the Holocaust Memorial Museum leaves you with a reminder, never forget. The Holocaust Memorial Museum at 100 Raoul Wallingberg Place, Southwest in Washington, D.C. If a martini lounge and a cigar bar had a baby, it would be the Robusto Room. This new concept bar cleaned up the city search awards, and it's not even in Denver, it's in the burbs. There is, uh, there's a lot of uh, decent martini lounges already downtown. There was very little going on down south, and I thought this would be a really good addition to a really good, a good neighborhood, a good area. The unique location paid off winning best DJ, single scene, happy hour, romantic bar, outdoor bar, and 18 and over club. I think that was probably the most most number of awards they've ever issued to any one place ever, so it was a pretty pretty cool accomplishment for one year. There's only five bars left in the entire state that are still smoking. We're one of them. Uh, we also have the full uh, the full cigar shop here, which is a very unique addition to any bar. I've got amazing uh, amazing DJs and entertainment every night. It's pretty safe to say whether you're single or married, a clubber or lounger, the Robusta Room is one of the best spots in Metro Denver. The Robusta Room is at 9535 Park Meadows Drive in Lone Tree, Colorado. Everybody in Denver is roaring about fancy tiger clothing, and with good reason. We do have a very large presence of Denver designers, um, but we've kind of taken it upon ourselves to bring designers to Denver that weren't here before, and we, I think it's kind of good for Denver. It's been inspiring the design scene in Denver. Independent is the best word to describe it, from the indie rock stars who always come in to its designers. Pretty much everyone who works for Fancy Tiger Clothing also makes wares for the store. But Fancy Denver is not. You can pick up a more laid-back style with one-of-a-kind accessories or hang your look on the racks of plaid and hoodies. Fancy Tiger Clothing is at 14 South Broadway in Denver.